Hey, everybody, it's the coach, and this is Madden 20 on EA Sports. Coming up, we've got a good one on tap between the Dublin Celtic Tigers and the Los Angeles Rams. I'll be back with you again with scores around the league at halftime. But kickoff right around the corner. And standing by to call the action, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Coach, thank you much. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the City of Angels, Los Angeles, California. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Dublin Celtic Tigers and the Los Angeles Rams. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Two teams here fresh off week one victories who can keep it going as we're underway on EA Sports. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. Let's go, boys. Bring it so out come the Rams now for their first possession. They'll be led out by their quarterback, the guy out of California, the former Cal Bear, Jared Goff. While in college, quarterback teams that improved their win total from one his freshman year to five his sophomore year to eight his junior year. Love that type of improvement. Love that type of diligence. They'll fake the handoff. Now gone. He'll get this complete to Cooper Cup. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. A good start offensively. 15 yards on the game's initial play. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. Now a handoff here to his running back. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. It'll be a loss of one, and that'll bring up a second and 11. On second and 11 now. Golf, rush coming, and he's taken down. That's what I'm talking about. Sacks all day. That's a pretty darn good start to his season, huh? A sack in the opener. Adds a second one here. That tells you about his offseason. He came in determined to have a big year, and it's paying off. So Goff, he'll try to refocus after the sack. The Rams now set up with a tough one, a third and long. Here's Goff. This one hauled in by Sample. And he gets this only to the 41, not near enough for the first. It'll be a gain of eight, but it'll also lead to a fourth down. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because... The receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going, and then they're able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short of a first down. First down, it's Ramsey. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. These are his numbers from last week's contest. 18 carries, 129 yards, and he threw a touchdown in there for good measure. Leading the league in rushing after week one, you know he'd love to double down and continue that type of play here in week two. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. John Johnson with the INT. And they'll start with great field position at the 41 yard line. They'll run on first down. Benjamin. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. 
On second down, it's Hammond. And oh, his first carry, he loses the football. Easy work. It's easy work, and it's coming Wow, again. that ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. That's complete to the tight end sample. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. He wasn't the primary target, but I think it was almost like a, a check down situation, wasn't it? Yeah, like hoping he can break some tackles, a big tight end, but he couldn't do it. Yeah, get it to that big frame and hope he can scatter some bodies unable to get it done. Come on, now. Let's go. NFL kickers nowadays, they make things look so easy because normally from this range, about two out of three. And this is not an easy kick. Yeah, 20 years ago, you get where he was in that 50 range, maybe a little over. And it's a big kick, but now we just, if they leave it short, you're like, whoa, what happened? And that's that's what we have here. Yeah, you're right. 20 years ago, we were saying run some more plays and get closer. Now we think they're definitely within range, and you're exactly right. When it comes up short, there has to be something that went wrong because they have plenty of leg. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. The last drive, remember, a similar situation. He forced a ball into coverage through the pick. He learned better there. Yeah, similar to a golfer that's confronted with a shot that you just can't make. Sometimes you have to take your medicine as they... Yeah, man, it's caught inside the 10. Let's go, 39 yards there, a big one. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. That gets him three yards closer here as it brings up second and goal. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. On second down now, it's Ramsey. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Dublin with the football here to begin the second quarter as they'll see what they can do on third and goal. Dublin with the football here to begin the second quarter as they'll see what they can do on third and goal. And he goes backwards on this one, losing yardage to the seven. That'll back him up two yards and also bring up fourth. This situation in the fourth quarter, you go for it. But here, take the points. If you go for it here and don't get it, you and I are missing our plane, and we're going to the post-game press conference to hear him justify it. Because the next thing we'll see is the owner walking in, announcing a firing. There is no way he goes for it here. Get the field goal. It's the first half of the game. You've got time to make it up. And now this is going to depend on the spot. And they say he's just short. They get the completion, but cannot push forward into the end zone. And it'll be a turnover on downs. Johnson, and just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. There to stop him, Juwan Bentley. From the end zone, gone. And oh, it's a safety. Goff got buried in the end zone. He couldn't get rid of it. So after a scoreless first quarter, we at least finally get some points on the board. But it can't be what either of us expected, can it? No. The safety's not what you expect for the first points of the game, but one of the goose eggs is gone. Free kick out of bounds. Kicking team. Good work, boys. Let's go. Chad Hunt. 60 out long. Check, check. Walk 54. Walk 54. Back to throw now on first down. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. Now they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And it'll bring up a second and 13. Second and 13. Well, so much for bluffing the defensive line into thinking that they were going to be able to get to the quarterback. Instead, they sniffed out the screen pass and made a really nice play for lost yardage. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. That good for 22 and a first down. He'll drop to throw. 
Even from up here in the booth, the play-by-play -play guy could tell that there was some pretty good blocking on the right side of the line. Well, you have good eyes, and it's almost like a ballet when it's executed that well. Everyone in the right spot, everyone in sync, everyone hitting the perfect notes. A little more percussion and a lot more bass, I would think, than you get your normal ballet. But at the same time, that was well executed. A full five-yard loss that time. It's going to make second down pretty tough. They'll try again on second and goal after going backwards to the 12. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. A reminder, coming up at halftime, we'll head to Orlando. Standing by there, Jonathan Coachman. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL in his second week of the regular season. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. He was trying to get that to Bryce Love out of the backfield, but now it's third and goal. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. Looking to throw. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. That's a good job there, creating the contact to force the incompletion. And now, since it's fourth down, that should set up a field goal situation. And a nice sigh of relief defensively to be able to hold them to three. The offense stays out there. A big challenge here from this far back, but they're going for it on fourth and goal. Back to throw here. And my goodness, this is incomplete. They can't hook up here on the fourth down pass attempt. And the Rams are going to take possession of the turnover on downs. And they've now made two trips to the red zone and still looking for their first touchdown. Not able to punch it in. And if you're on deep. And he's going to go down right near the goal line. The officials look at each other. They're going to mark him at the one-yard line. I think most quarterbacks would love to have the goal line actually extend up into the air and turn into a wall. And they can put their back against it and know exactly where they are on the field so they don't end up in the end zone. Didn't do it on that play, but perilously close to the goal line. Facing the prospect of a punt from their own end zone, they need some cushion. Let's see what they can do on third down. Going to give this time to the tailback. And he's going to be taken down shy of the five-yard line. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Here's Johnny Hacker now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And he's able to get it out of there, and this is a pretty good kick. Out comes Michael Gallup and company as they take the field. He's doing what he's capable of, having a solid game. Not, not the most amazing game. He's not over 100 yards, but a good game so far. And you just know that mentally, he feels like he's one catch away from turning it into a great game and starting on that road. And the defenders are well aware of that, too. They've got to figure out a way to not let that escalate. Keep him right in this zone here and call it a day because otherwise he can really decimate them. Better believe they are well aware of his playmaking ability. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. He'll look to throw. Oh, a scrap for the football, and he's going to come down with it. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. As it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. This quarterback now 6 of 10 in this first half. He's got his guys a first down here. He'll look to throw. Steps away to his left. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. And now due to apparent time constraints, we fast forward to the beginning of the second half. This is taken about seven yards deep. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he had taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. So here are our visitors to take over on offense. They have the lead now. They'll be looking to extend that lead. 
And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite sets. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. Second and 15. Finding room at the 30. And all the way up to the 33-yard line. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. Michael Gallup, his third touchdown now on the year. And his guys are gonna add on to their lead. Heck of a start to his season. He had two touchdowns in the opener last week, another one here in week two. Well, I don't want to call him a touchdown machine this early, but sometimes you get locked in, you know, and you feel good about things. You get into that zone, and those touchdowns come in bunches. He may be off to that kind of a start. It's like he was shot out of a cannon. I would imagine success this early, great momentum going forward for the rest of the year. He keeps this up. They'll soon be chanting MVP anytime <laughs> he touches the ball. Brett Maher on for the extra point. And this is good as they extend it out now to a 9-0 lead. The drive there only spanning three plays. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This is taken at the three. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. Jared Goff and the Rams headed back onto the field. And maybe he's starting to wave the white flag a little bit. He's playing pretty well, but the pressure, it's got to him. Has to find a way to step around it, step through it, or just handle it. Because as you mentioned, he's having a pretty good day overall. Just the hits keep coming and taking those sacks. That's not the way that they want to finish a ball game with their quarterback on the ground so much. Uh, he'd like to stay upright. When he's been upright, he's been pretty good. He gets away from one. Benjamin's got it. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. And that's the reason why. What we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play, one-on-one -on -one matchup with someone trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-ones downfield after the catch when they're running with the ball. They think they're going to win those, too. On first down, Benjamin. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. On second down, it's Hammond. And now they're going to get him down right at the line of scrimmage. Defensively, though, they had a chance there to hit him for a loss. Couldn't get it done. Looked like someone was able to knife into the backfield, but he wasn't able to get him down. But his compatriots, they were able to grab him at the line of scrimmage and not let him get any further downfield. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. It's a gain of 15, and the Rams have a first down. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree. One thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think... And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. A great effort there. His second touchdown on the season as they have now chopped this lead down to three. When you know you've got a home run hitter on your side of the ball and you know that he can score from anywhere on the field, it usually inspires the rest of the guys to do their jobs even better. That resulted in a lot of great blocks downfield because they knew if they gave him space, he could do exactly what he did, put the ball in the end zone. Go, go. 
Out comes Michael Gallup and company as they take the field. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? It's usually not by himself, is it? It usually opens it up for other people to have big games as well. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 38. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. They'll keep it on the ground. Ramsey. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. And I know it's hard in live action, but you've got to keep your hands away from the face. That's a 15-yard penalty. You work on it all the time, making sure your target area is lower and trying to keep your hands away from the face mask so you don't get the big penalty. Now a play fake here on first down. Forced out to his left. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. How about the defensive effort from both of these teams that we've seen in this game? Would you say it's like a high-stakes chess match right now? Uh, chess is one way to go. Uh -huh. Yeah, I like it. Okay, the only reason I say that, you feel like they're contemplating their moves before actually making one, and none of them being done very confidently. Well, truth be told, I've never played chess, and I know that I'm not smart enough to play chess. Guys like you with your IQ, you can pull that off. Second down pass play got him eight yards. Now they've got a third and a couple remaining. No, no, no. Check out. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he is into the end zone for a touchdown. A great play there. His second touchdown on the season. And his guys find a way to stretch that lead. Extra point by Marr, up and good. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Five plays there on that drive. And it results in a four-yard touchdown run. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This fielded at the two. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. The L.A. offense ready to go for their next drive. And that last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. You think they go that route again? I'm always of the school that until they stop me from doing something, I'm going to continue. And I think that that's exactly what they'll look to do. But the beauty is the balance that they've created sets up opportunities for big plays. Looks like a run, turn into a play action, and throw one deep. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. And there they bring pressure from the inside, and they get home. Yeah, hard to block everyone, isn't it? And on this play, <laughs> someone did not get blocked. He's the one who got home. Third and long. It's gone. Finding his safety valve here. That's complete. They wind up getting 16, but even that's not quite enough. It's fourth down. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. The Rams going for it on fourth. Gone. Blitz coming and down he goes. No luck for the Rams as they fail here on fourth down. And the ball will go over on downs on the short side of the field. They go play action here on first down. Oh, no, he lost the football. A 
call it luck or skill, whatever the case is, they're feeling good about just keeping the football there. Yeah, the biggest thing that they're calling it now, our ball. <laughs> they don't care if it was luck or skill, but the panic that jumps up in your chest when that ball's on the ground, whether you get it or your teammate gets it, just as long as you maintain possession, that's all you're looking for. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. They'll set up to throw. He's got Dallas Goddard, his tight end over the middle. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. And defensively, they just don't seem to have much of an answer for this passing game. Not at all. Look at the confidence that's exhibited here with that type of a lead. Clock on their side. Instead of running it, they're still throwing it, trying to pick up first downs and keeping the football. And he takes it down to the 13 and picks up the first. And they've been burned twice already on fourth down, but the third time's the charm as they keep the drive moving. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. That's complete right around the eight. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Give him seven on the play, and it'll make it a second down. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. A great effort there. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And his guys are going to add on to their lead. Looking like they're well on their way to a 2-0 start. All smiles right now on that sideline, isn't it? As well there should be. It's hard to win a game in the NFL. We hear it all the time. We know that it's difficult. But guess who's smiling? But inside is thinking 24-hour rule because we're going to have to play again next week. Boss man. Oh, without a doubt. The head coach, <laughs> he wants them to feel good, but at the same time, find a way to keep improving. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. Let's go. So Jared Goff in the offense, down by 15, 2.06 to play. It's been a struggle to score all day, and now they need to do it twice here late to have a chance. Now a first down throw, gone. Throw left side complete, that's Hammond. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. It'll be a two-yard gain, and that'll make it second down. So it's Rams football here as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Now a throw here to his running back. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Now it's gone. That's caught by Treadwell. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down L.A. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out, to the sideline, and make a catch. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. They'll fake the give, now gone. Oh, a battle for it here, and this will be caught. That's a gain of 13, first down Rams. On first and 10, gone. But this offense can get their tight ends. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked up by J.C. Jackson, and a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Partner, we always talk about possessions being at a premium in these games, and now in this situation, throwing an interception here when you have to claw your way back in, that one's going to hurt, and in a big way. That one looks like he'll throw here. In trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 ticks remaining on the clock. Now, following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. They'll set up a throw, staying on his feet. He's going to find Gallup here complete. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout, their second, 
as they get it with 16 seconds remaining on the clock. Third down, it's Ramsey, and he is going to have the first down, and that is going to suck the life right out of this crowd. The Rams going to be forced to use their third and final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in the football game. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Back to throw. Looking for Harry, he airs it out deep. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by John Johnson. And that will write a finish to this ball game. So this crowd will not go home happy. It's a victory for our visitors, and they were spurred on by a strong performance in that fourth quarter as they held their opponents off the scoreboard. Everyone wants to pitch a shutout for the entire game, but when you throw one in the fourth quarter, that tells everyone that you're getting stronger and dominance is starting to take over, right? The way that you close, the way that you finish, that gets preached to you from the time you're playing Little League football all the way up through. And they closed them out with a big-time performance down the stretch. So for Dublin, it was a great all-around performance as they come out of this one with the victory. And they'll get another road date next week as their opponents will be the New York Jets. Meanwhile, for L.A., they'll fall to 1-1. One and one, And they'll be on the road next week as they get a date with the Seahawks in Seattle.